A very special lady in Black Duck, known for her love and generosity, has been recognized with a statewide award. We'll get to know her tonight as the community came out to celebrate her achievements. Brenda Mack has the story. I have received so much more than I've given, definitely. She loves and she laughs, and yet she's even more known for when she gives. She's Jin Slindy. When I think about her and, and think about all the things she does, it brings tears to my eyes. You can almost never find Jean alone. She's always visiting someone. I've always loved old people. <laughs> For some reason, they have the most interesting past. Now standing strong at 86, Jean has always known where her heart belongs. Having fun. That's what we were doing. <laughs> Since this place first opened back in 1970, Jean, who is still in high school, has started volunteering by serving lunches. I used to uh, take them for their birthdays to my house. I used to uh, pick them up, take them to church. A simple woman. I guess I'm just common and ordinary and so they're comfortable. So loved by the community. I knew you could count on Jean. She was always there. She's there supporting, um, getting things going, helping, assisting. It's just she's there for it and helping with everything. That Jean has been selected as one of two Volunteers of the Year in Minnesota. She said you won! And I thought, wow, you know, that's pretty special. And her friends say no one else is more than worthy of this honor. I'm just hoping that people look at her and take and see what she does and follows in her footsteps and they can learn so much from her. Well, that was success. Very yes. nice, very nice. In Black Duck, Brenda Mack, Lately News. And Jean is also a leader. She was the first female member at the Black Duck Chamber of Commerce and the first woman on the city council there. She will receive her award at the annual Care Providers of Minnesota Conference in November. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.